Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Run Buck on Games. This time I've got a war recap from a recent war at JTJ Maine. I uh, thought it was worth putting out there because it is with war whales. Strangely enough, we got matched with them randomly uh, and lost, of course, because for those of you not living under a rock, they are probably one of the top tier uh, war clans out there. If you go and look at their war log or Google them on YouTube, you'll see all these war recaps from like Crystal Warrior and One Hive and da 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 da. But anyway, um, they're a good clan, suffice to say. I think they had some guys out for an arranged war, so they were kind of running a little smaller and matched up with us. Uh, it was as lopsided in their favor. They would have won either way. I'm not making excuses. <laughs> you see here that they rolled us one way or the other. But uh, they had an additional Town Hall 10. We had seven uh, Town Hall 10s starting, or seven Town Hall 10 11s. Uh, they had, but they had one extra Town Hall 11. And as is their way, uh, their Town Hall 11s were a lot more leveled than ours um, in, in both their 10s, too. I mean, here, let me show you. I did a little quick analysis, though, because on the silver lining of it all, we actually beat them on uh, Town Hall 10 and 11. Uh, their Town Hall 9 just totally outperformed ours. But notice here, uh, we held them. This is JTJ's side. So we held them to two stars on all of our bases. And look how many times they hit some of our bases. Three, two, four, one. 4-2. So all these bases held up defensively very well against peer attacks from Town Hall 10 and nukes. Um, you can see here where they were nuking. So like here, this guy, uh, which is I think is Yoda, one of their long-term players, hit two and got held off and then didn't use his second. Uh, then uh, their number two guy hit three and hit one and I held him for one. So really good um, holds. No nukes actually occurred from their hit downs or what we call nukes. Their nukes didn't result in three stars from 11 to 10. Um, so in actuality, our Tunnel 10s did a really good job. I mean, you could you could say, well, they didn't use, here's two of the ones that they didn't use attacks on. They decided to hold off. You know, this is our destruction percentage and at 76, and there's 71. 75 and 67 if you don't include the bottom guy. Um, the reason why I didn't include, you know, might not include the bottom is that was our brand new Tunnel 10, basically just upgraded. The only thing he had was an extra spell, didn't have the Infernos, didn't have the extra Expo, really a Town Hall 9 in nature. So they just hit him with Town Hall 9s uh, to close him out, didn't even use any of their Town Hall 10 attack or 11 attacks on 7 from our side. Um, so that would kind of offset, I guess, if you throw that out, uh, it might offset, you know, in, in their Town Hall 11, extra Town Hall 11. I don't know. But anyway, the point is I think our Town Hall 10 and 11 group did really well. That's the silver lining. But let's take a look at some attacks. And before I get into that, there, if you guys come into uh, Band, our JTG Nation, and message me, I can give you a link to the replays of some of the two stars. I'll only be showing the three stars that happened on their bases. But if you wanted to see some of their attacks on us that uh, held off for two or uh, some of their, our attacks on them that ended up in two star, like here, here, where you can kind of get a feel for their bases. Um, just ping me out. We have a link for that. We just don't want to put it out in public domain. Or at least make it easy for everybody to see it. That said, let's take a look at uh, some of the good attacks here. I had a good attack, but we won't look at it because God knows blind squirrels and nuts. That would be me. Let's take a look at Darth Carlos. So he three-starred this Town Hall 10. So it was a pure attack, cross-hit. If we speed it up to two times speed, he's going to be uh, just a classical... Valk action going across from the mid. He gets some nice cuts from the wizards and the golems, and then in they go. Da -da -da! And, and across the map, they'll b burn. Uh, a lot of people are using those minions to try to counteract Valks. Makes sense, right? Because they can't shoot up and get you. But uh, the poison took care of it. And then uh, with a nice hog action uh, as, a, as a tail end cleaning for the flank, uh, he ends up closing out the base because the queen stays up. And the hogs, look at the value he's getting out of that hog team in terms of no bomb action. So really it was a nice, and this is a fresh hit too. All of our, uh, if we go back and look at the, one of the other things that was great about our attacks I did mention, I mentioned how many times they'd hit ours and ours had held, so great defensively we did at Tunnel 10 and 11. But also attack-wise, we didn't get any scouts because our Tunnel lines were struggling so much. Uh, really all of our extra attacks were hitting down and... Um, but look at look at all of our attacks, w one hit, and we're getting these really great percentages against their bases. So, again, really a great job by our Tunnel 10 and 11 crew in this war. 
Let's see, take a look at another one. We'll shift down, I think, to... I mean, we've all seen two stars of Town Hall 10, so I won't go into those. Let me see if I can find you a non-nuke. Here we go, Red Ace. Town Hall 9. Now, all their Town Hall 9s are really well leveled. Um, it's probably one of the things that you use strategically is, you know, they come into most wars with just max Town Hall 10s, max Town Hall 9s, just a few non-max players. But this is Red Ace going in. Uh, again, it's going to be a split healer. So, uh, Heva, I think is what they call it. But they'll start out with the heat queen walk with some some of the healers four, and then we're going to come off the other side with the Valk action and, and healers on that team, uh, which is something that JTJ's been using quite a bit at the Town Hall 9 level, and it seemed to be working at least till this war. We're going to have to analyze their bases a lot more and try to understand you know, what were we were doing wrong because uh, clearly we hit their Town Hall 9s a ton and didn't just couldn't get it done. Now, you know, was, we had the update was that day. We had the disconnect. Some people got disconnected, but, you know, it, again, it was clearly they had us hands down at Town Hall 9. It wasn't even, a, it wasn't even close. But you can see here, nice job of where the Valks stay with their two te with their healer teams and the Queen and them pair up together, and then that enables really a nice drive-through uh, to clear out the backside on the bottom if I clean it up here. And around they go. Most of the time, we had a lot of nine, you know, upper high percentages, 95, 98 square time. So a lot of their designs were doing a really great job of of forcing, you know, attacks like this walk to uh, run out of time. And maybe that was by design. Darth Carlos is a nuke. Oh, Batman, another great place. We'll close out with this one. I don't know. We'll just keep looking at the three stars because they're all their bases are pretty well leveled. But those are the three. These are the three that I highlighted in the in the uh, in the uh, what do you call that? The the little image you see on the YouTube video. There you go. Whatever. Isn't that descriptive for you? <laughs> so once again, though, you can see it's the same style of attack. So we got the queen walk with then healers in in uh, reserve for the Valk action that's going to come here shortly. I'm going to speed it up because we're going to be looking at a few more videos here or more replays. They had wizards and some other ground action, but the poison was able to handle it with the pr with the princess. I see that's a clan royale term coming cross cross uh, contamination for the queen to actually uh, help them get through the CC. But then bang, Valk action does so. The queen basically did a very nice what we call tabling cut very a big chunk of the base of the line, a nice straight run for the Valks off this flank and then through for the letter L. If you are a fan of Sesame Street. Let's take a look at some of the other three stars. There weren't many. We had a lot of opens. A boy was a nuke. Woo boy is not. He's a town hall nine. One of our higher town hall nines. So again, same same mix, right? So one of the problems we might have, I think, is we might have over obsessed on this specific attack style, and so not all bases are, you know, you would think they are, but I think with the and some of these guys might have also upgraded their spring traps in this war so we might have been facing some upgraded spring traps which would really whittle down Valk action you know that extra s space sprung goes from one Valk sprung to two and if you've got what is it five springs at Town Hall 9 four or five I'm not sure but uh, that's doubling it, you know it would basically cut in half the amount of Valks that survive if they trigger them so it's a, it's a big deal um, and I would assume, you know, we all were working on our springs, so I'm assuming some of them did too. So that might have had to factor in it, but, you know, we both had the same problem. They didn't. They powered through. So <laughs> nice attack, though, by Woo Boy. And it'll be interesting to see how those springs actually affect Valk action. Let's see Yip's attack here. And lo and behold, is it another healer? walk with a Valk action and in the, with a Heva in the back? Yes, it is. And here comes a Heva. So Queen Walk Heva. And so again, notice how the Queen Walk did a nice cut, although this time it was more of a lateral, but in each case when we have success, it's the Queens and the Valks come together in the mid and then power around uh, to close the base out. Now I haven't looked in detail at the two stars, but that might have been something that wasn't happening among other things who knows 
Uh, take a look at Kinger's attack. So you see how all their bases are really nicely leveled? 30-30 heroes and we're in their 20th guy. And you can tell, well, we got 27-30 heroes, so we're close, but we're just not, we weren't just as leveled consistently as them. Okay, trying to drag into the CC, that little nice Tesla farm. Queen powers through it, but the healers were smoked. But we're, oh, we don't have healers. Oh my god, we're, we're doing an air attack. Way to go, Kinger. Breaking the mold. Breaking the mold, and uh, oh, my wife is bringing me a soda. She's so nice. She's the nicest. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so really nice attack, and I think with the uh, ev you know the loon and uh, mm -hmm. hound upgrades coming through in the recent patch, you're gonna see more of that. Maybe not at tunnel nine, but uh, at tunnel ten and eleven for sure. Another great attack here. Oh, didn't want to break. The, didn't want you guys to think we were getting off track. Another Heva. This is basically called the Heva Show. Here's the Queen Walk going in. She takes out the AD. A little hound to a little hog to trigger the CC. Oh no, it's a golem. But see that golem? We get that away from the Valks so that that can pop and that the golemite destruction AOE does not impact the Valks, which can really tear them up. Bang! Right into the. Uh, Test arm, and on we go. Now in this case, look, so we did not come together. We have two separate groups. Healers are supporting each other, and then they meet in the middle. So, so much for that theory I mentioned earlier. Good job, Nick. Uh, Ona Magnus, our clan leader. Doing a great job keeping the ship running at JTJ. I owe him big time. Let's speed it up here. So he's coming in with 2630 Royals. And for once, look, we've we're gotten down to what, the 22nd one? We do see some weakness in their Royal levels, 24, 25. Little minion action in the CC, pre-triggered, and then we come in from the other side with the King. And oh, they all come together nicely right there. That was a nice pullback. Chaos and Pandemonium in the mid. And voila. Minion's going to get... Nope. Snake's coming and stole it from him. Oh, I was wrong. I thought that was the last thing. Okay. What are we at now? 24. Oh, replay not available. See, a lot of the replays won't be available because of uh, the patch came through and then they did the second patch. So that's it. Those are the ones we do have that were three stars. So I hope it helps you guys as you uh, are preparing for your wars. And if you ever face war whales, here's some great bases that you could try. They definitely, if we take a look at the attack set, let's see here. It starts here. All right, now let's look at enemy team defenses. Um, so you can kind of get a sense for which bases that you saw might be of interest to you. So there's the defenses, like 13 had 4 defenses, 16 had 3, 18 had 3, 19 had 3, 22 had 4. Really nice. A mag that's the one you saw with a Magnus. He left the clan. Where did he go? Why would you leave War Whales? He went to Owl Slayers. Okay. Sorry. That's, whoops. Messed up. Go back to this defense and stuff. There's a guy that left. There's a three from TDH, a four from Zeus, and three with Gibby. So there's five or six really good bases. I don't think we had some of those lower ones, but some of the top ones we definitely had for you to take a look at. So hopefully that helps. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you guys around, and we'll be releasing pretty soon our Gauntlet series, which I think you guys are really going to like. It's really going to break down the bases and get back to the old-style JTJ video analysis, trying to really boil down the... Uh, technique, I guess, or framework for a given base structure and uh, move from there. But it'll be fun. We'll see you. Goodbye. What am I going to do? My clan sucks. Hey, it's JTJ. Uh, I think that's an all-out attack. No, no, it's the legendary JTJU. JTJU. JTJU.
this army. Download Clash of Clans for free. Then subscribe to JTJU and win.